This has been a great weekend, and the Bellows are kind enough to invite us all to their home for our last night in Napa. They are the most fabulous hosts. Their home is incredible. Hello, Hello. Hello. When I plan a party, I'm usually involved in every tiny detail. I mean, down to the kind of toothpick that is going into the hors d'oeuvre. But with this event, I've really released a lot of the party to other people. I feel like I'm in a good place. I'm a little proud of me. That, oh my God, that's huge. What? The pizza oven. I know, it's amazing. It's just freezing. And there, it's warmer. It? Oh, in front of the fireplace. Okay, I wanna, go, I wanna see in front of the fireplace. All right, guys, if you need me, I'll be right here. <laughs> yeah, in front of the fireplace, warming my tushies. From your buns oh. by the fire. That looks beautiful, thank you. Oh my God, that's delicious. We went to this cool place today, Raymond Vineyards. Yes. It's a little Fifty Shades of Cabernet. A little bit. Right. It's amazing. It? Oh, it's so they cool. They gave them a hard time. But I, they do because it, here it's very rustic and very, you know, sure. they just. They don't like it out of the box. The, the, the and we're a little out of the box. I know you are. That's, that's way out of the box. box. It's like here's the box and, and here's CJB. <laughs> this is a cool fireplace. So beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who are those ghosts up there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love them. We've had them in all our houses. There can be things att attached attach to, objects. to, you know, so we have like oh. 58 Hi. chandeliers, and I'd say 90% of them are antiques. Where did you go? There's an antique store in Orange. You need to go with me to this store, then you get a few little pieces. If there's any issue that's left unresolved, it totally bothers me. I don't like to brush anything under the rug. But I was holding off on talking to Shannon about the charity phone call because I wanted to get to know her better. Everyone come gather around. Here. Oh, wow. Megan, Shannon, gather around. Oh, my gosh. I know how hard it is to leave your families and children and take some time off, but it has meant so much to us, and I'm so appreciative. And here's to Colette. Hey, I wanted to see if we could step inside for a second. Okay. Let's go by the fire. I'm finally feeling comfortable with Shannon. We're getting along. And I think that it's a good time to finally talk to her about the phone call. Okay. So, you know that we talked about last year at the hoedown and everything's good with that. <laughs> right. And so I just wanted to bring that up again and say, we talked about it, we're cool. Right. Everything's good. Right. Do you remember I called you about the party that I'm throwing? I felt a little bit offended. Truly, I did. Coming up, I'm trying to get your help. You know what, you know? I'm done. Really, Yeah, I am done. I start charities, Megan. What, what just happened? Do you remember I called you? Right. I was just calling because I thought you had the, the party last year and I was wondering about like amounts of appetizers and things like that. Okay. This is Megan King. I felt a little bit offended. Truly, I did. I mean, I felt offended too because I got a phone call and when you said your name, you didn't say your told name. So I, I didn't know who you were. I had my kids in my car and then I get this call and I think it's a sales call. And I say, what's this regarding? The whole time, I've got my kids in the back of the car and I'm thinking, who is this girl? I don't even know who this is. Who is this girl and how would she know my cell number? So I'm trying to process that. And then you say, and you had a wine party last year. I'm like, I didn't have a wine party last year. I, I was short with Megan on the phone because I thought it was a sales call. It's like a... Missouri phone number. Is there any way that I can call you back? I've got my kids in the car and I've got to get them to the basketball practice. Okay. All right. Well, I'll let you go. Sorry to bother you. Okay. I don't know anybody from Missouri. The reason it felt, it just felt a little awkward was because I was trying to get, you know, your help. I really was to try to get your help on that. But I'm thinking situation. if you need hors d'oeuvres, your caterer is going to tell you how many hors d'oeuvres. I, I mean, I have but no I was idea. Really so I called, so I figured out, I texted you. That, right. Did you and I, text? I got that. But at that point I thought, okay, what was that all about? I see that Megan has sent me a text. I'm sorry for the mix up. And all of a sudden her name turned into Megan King Edmonds. And I think, oh yeah, that's a friend of Heather's. Do I need to call her back then? 
Here I am reaching out to you about a charity that you obviously care about because you threw a party for this charity, and I'm asking you but for you're advice. Right, but you're and saying you're like, that you I don't got, know who you no, are. You I don't say, know what you're talking but about. But you say I got I your number from a girl that I've met one time in June. What does that say? matter? Because someone is giving my private cell phone number but out that nobody nobody has. That's not the point. The point is I'm trying to get your help. I mean, right? You know you what? Know? I'm done. I'm done. Really? She yeah, really? I am done. I start charities, Megan. Look, we can t we can end this peacefully. You know what? I did try, but don't try and paint me out to be uncharitable. Shannon is erupting about something that she could have easily fixed by saying, I'm sorry. Done. She's a time bomb, and I can't predict her. What just happened?